excited so we're doing the tough manner this weekend I'm i've never ever in my life seen a dirtier airbnb in my life okay so hold it really on there like on the outside of it really yeah i was in the living room in a shithole dad that was five years ago because never get an electric car oh i don't just wear the hat Dad already wants to go in. I'm not hot enough yet. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Like when it's happening, because she gets really distressed, doesn't she? Yeah. And it's not nice, but I will talk to you all about it. Hello, vlog. Let me turn the radio off. Hello, hello, hello. I'm filming on my phone because we're going somewhere now, but the rest of the vlog will be beyond my camera. But I've got a very exciting vlog. I've got a weekly vlog. Today, me and Dad, yesterday was his birthday, which I will tell you what we did for his birthday because he did lots of lovely things. But today, we are off to, where are we off to, Dad? We're going to the nomadic sauna yes. at Kingston Beach yes. and we will swim in the sea. We're very... It's my weekly event. How long do you swim in the sea for though, Dad? Uh, I do. I try not to waste my sauna but time. But you don't do too much in there. You don't want to be in there for ages I do about cold. I do about four or five hundred uh, metres every ten seconds. I fly. He makes it so hot. I've only done this once. I've only done this once for Spencer before. But we're going to the sauna, which is like, I don't know what the heat is. Do you know what the heat is? He had it, uh, I, we, I got it up to 110 the other week. I don't want it to be at 110, Dad. I'm not going to lie to you. And last week, the woman, which got to laugh, she said, oh, it's a little bit hot. Should we open the door? It's a sauna. If I wanted to go outside, I'd go outside. But I didn't. Whatever my dad says, please don't be offended. So I had to actually, when she said, I'm going to open the door, I said, I'm going for a swim. <gasps> I can't imagine. <laughs> A Spain for a sauna. I feel like and the dads just open. say offensive things. They're, they're okay to say that. They're actually, probably about 12 degrees today, the water in the sea, I reckon. But I've got to tell you all about the Airbnb that we stayed at. I was going to vlog all the way up there, but that Airbnb was shocking. But I'll tell you all about that later. That was... But when she tells you about the Airbnb, mm. ask, her some to the, ask her about some of the Airbnb she took me to when they got married. See, in... why can't I remember them? I think they were nice. The sheet. The, the, I was bitten senseless. The sheet had holes. When they brought it up, it was yeah, it was it had true. holes, and they wanted thirty euros. I went and I went like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. And luckily, I packed my own sheets, my own linen, yeah. because I don't stay in you other people's filth. We went before we got married. We did an eleven day like um, tour. We went to France, went to Lyon, then we drove through Italy, went to Alba, which was stunning. Yeah. But they didn't have very good Airbnbs in the places we went to. The Leon, oh yeah. I slept on top of the sheets. Who put, in, that was me that booked them. That oh, wasn't Ben saying, yeah. I each at the, pull out lady please, thank you. Did we even have, I don't think we had any super hosts. I just went, I think we went with whatever. And they were awful. Everyone you picked was awful. Alba was lovely. I had a pull out bed of the wall. No, you were in a separate room, Alba. The little, the, on the island, in the yeah. little village house. I was in the living room, in a shithole. Dad, that was five years ago. Yes, and I still have So Airbnb it. probably wasn't as good as it is now. It's the material. It's not about that. I wouldn't actually... I don't oh, actually Oh, so we were like paying Airbnb for anymore. big... What? Uh, isn't it funny? We were paying and it was like, you know, to us back then it was like, oh, this is quite expensive because we're having an extra room. Now we have to get two extra rooms because of the girls. Well, that's Or Ivella like... can sleep in our room with us, but we do disturb her. I love how we disturb her. She doesn't disturb us because she's a little angel. Um, but, yeah... Now we have to get three bedrooms. But the Airbnb we went to had three bedrooms, but it wasn't a bedroom, it was like a mezzanine. So it was all open to the lounge. But anyway, I've got videos I've got to show you, I've got to tell you about it later, but wish me luck. We're going in here. Yesterday for dad's birthday, we did, he did chiro, cry, cryo, cry, chirotherapy? Cryotherapy. Cryotherapy. So he went in a chamber, which I'll insert, but he went into a chamber for five minutes and it was minus 90 degrees. Um, Water off a duck's back. And then he came out and had some localized on his knee. And then he had 20 minutes of compression of his legs. Athletes always get... Well, they heat it. No, they just, ex they literally expand, expand like balloons on your legs. Yeah. And in reality, that's what athletes do yeah. to get themselves back to peak fitness. Yeah. And then he went and had a facial, an endosco endoscope on his face, which over time is meant to tighten. And it's basically a natural facelift, they say. It's a natural facelift. I'm going to get it on my body because it's amazing for lymphatic Listen. training. It's, it was nice, but you know, when I go back to likes his my up. house... Do you know how rude that is? No, no, it no, was no, very rude. nice. I loved it. But you know what? I said to the woman, she said, have you ever done any work on your face? Because you look like a 20-year-old. I said, listen, So love. much filler and I said, Botox. I'm married. Pack it in. And uh, I wear this to keep the women away. So she said to me, have you ever done it? I said, no. I said, but I did have 
a photon laser on my face two years ago. She said, wow. So did it come off like a snake skin? Mm -hmm. I, I woke up in the morning after this photonic laser mm -hmm. and there was, it was like thick. He didn't speak to us. Skin. He didn't speak to us for like, oh my God, he wouldn't About face, a week. you wouldn't FaceTime us. No, a week. And we is, thought you'd gone away and had a facelift and then he comes back on. And it was all natural. All it was was taking off all the dead, dirty stuff because there's no point washing. It won't get it off anyway. So take off all the dead stuff. And so I he's basically out. saying his birthday present was okay. But he prefers his laser. No, I should have had another laser in December. But... And I shouldn't have been bought Avatar, but we all move. <laughs> we could go down the road of external phone bills of four and a half. Um, I yeah. paid you back for those, mate, and more. The four and a half? Your turf? Tough. Your turf in your... 600. I paid, paid 1,200. You paid six, I paid six. We paid six. Listen, Okay, she's wait. Got... Okay, 600. Post-traumatic stress. Six, 600, 600. Two grand I lent you last year. One grand for the car, one grand to get over to Hungary. Yeah, yeah, I paid you back, boy. I've taken you on numerous trips. Oh, I've paid you back and more. I've paid you back and more. That I spent hours, weeks, no. months laying a deck at their no. house because the price they were offered yeah. was But listen, I have pay. paid you back and more, oh. son. Oh. You know, if I wasn't going to my sauna to... Actually, I need more than sauna. I need therapy. I'd actually get out of the car right now. If you want, I... Oh, there you go. Pull out. There you go. Pull out on If me. you do want therapy, Dad, that can be sorted. I'll get it in hungry. I owe you money <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Bradley. Yeah, get it in hungry. Bloody hungry. I'm sorry for everyone that's got stress, but this is family. There you go. We are just very loud. And you know what he says to me? He says that I'm loud. I'm loud. I'm just going to make the lights. We are going to make the lights. Here we go then. It's raining. It's pouring it down. And that's oh. where we're going in. Wait, the sea is really far in, Dad. Yeah, it's great today. Look. And it's choppy. That means I could be in front. My window. You can't even see anything because of the rain. But that's the sea we're going in. Over there is what we are going in. Oh, it's not as high as it was the other day. It's still high, but not as high. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Happy day. I was telling me to have this bar. Where'd you get them from? Lidl? Lidl. Two ninety eight for three. I don't get sponsorship off them. I don't. They've get got any sweetener, not sugar them. in them. No, what they will give you is NRG. NRG. Oh my god. Good, aren't they? Oh my god. I know, and it tastes like banana. Actually, it tastes like banana. Mm. So I come fully down. equipped for everything we need. Towel for you. No, I don't need a towel. Yeah, we, everyone Thank needs you. a towel. Mm -mm. We we take filtered sparkly water. Yeah, you take that because I got my bathroom. No, I'll have my own one. This is one of yours. I have my mm. clean one. That's your dirty <laughs> one. I don't touch anything of this. We've got seven minutes. We're early, aren't we? Look, because Dad wants to have a chat to the owner. He loves it. Dad just wants to be so chatty. I've left Oriavella. Renee is at nursery. Oriavella's with Spencer. Here it is then. Dad's already gone in. Oh my God, we're early. Dad's already gone in. Oh, I don't need to wear the hat. Dad already wants to go in. I'm not hot enough yet. Yeah, I'm ready for it. And then I go back in and I'm ready to come out. Because you get hotter than me. I'm so now I'm going, going in. Right, That's it, I'm nervous. There's a man in here just swimming casually because he wants to, which is so fair play to him and amazing. Give Busy and nervous about six. All right. Let's go then, Dad. Should we go a bit further away from home? So should we go a bit long? Go over there. Go really long. You're kind of breathing like you're breathing through birth. But also, it feels as though my lower back, I, I laboured all in my back, feels as though my lower back hurts. Which is the same, no it does, my lower back sort of, it's so weakened. I must go to osteo. Because my lower back is just so weak. I think it's from dancing, how it's so arched and curved. But anyway, back in the sauna now. Everybody, let's go. There he is, the man. The myth, the legend, James Bond. Here he is. He's not getting hot enough, honestly. Why are dads so funny? They say so many things that just so 
kind of offensive. It's so offensive what that say. You have to be like, Dad, you can't say that anymore. Like, you can't say that. You can't say that. So what? Just, I think, especially on the internet, there's so much you can't really say. Right, we're going in the sea if you're again. Not saying something that's, that's not true, I think you can say what you No, like. we should be entitled to our opinions, of course. But unfortunately, opinions are like assholes and all that. I don't know. and its daughters have started a coffee van so i've obviously got to go and support because that's amazing so there we are finished that was amazing the blood rushing to your skin is just amazing it just feels epic here we go yeah, we're at we whimsy that. brews so we've got this really exciting thing here which it smells unreal and i'm just going to read it to you it's pine ginger pink pepper and is that star anise yeah this is it this, is what it looks this like. light lady makes them herself yeah. which is amazing so yes and also you helped because you're amazing and you gave me my five sweets so thank you so much goodbye to a unicorn and bye angel just got back but i wanted to show you like all on my arms look excuse my nursing bra so unattractive i don't really care but look it goes all over my body and when it'll stay there for a while now it's obviously the heat and the it's amazing i love it spencer's actually just gone he's going on his own because last night dad basically said because it was his birthday he was like um, who wants to come with me? And I was like, well, I, I'll go, because I never go. But Spencer's gone now, but it's pouring down with rain, but there's not, he doesn't, he can't find a space on the, he can't, can't, can't find a space. But Dad, because he's such a regular, has got the man's number. Yes, I'm gonna start editing some videos and content now, and then set up some sensory areas for when Oriavella wakes up, and I'm going to tidy up these drawers, those drawers behind me over there, because why? Why are they awful? Why are they so awful, please? I forgot I was gonna tell you about the, um, I thought I was gonna tell you about the, Airbnb. Oh, right, okay, so basically, I won't say the exact area of where we stayed because I feel like it's then not fair to that person's Airbnb because, you know, I'm allowed to tell you the story, but I feel as though I'm not going to start outing that person on the internet because maybe that person might have changed certain things. Anyway, um, so yes, basically, um, we got to the Airbnb, perfect location. We went up to see Hugo. And we didn't stay in the area of where he was. Um, he lives. But we went up to see him because he works on Ryanair. He works as an air steward. And then um, we went to see him. And then we also went to see our friends in Saffron Walden. Um, and then we went to Sid's daughter's birthday ocean on Monday. So we had like a whole lovely, amazing weekend. Saffron Walden was stunning. The party was beautiful and amazing. And yes, we got ocean, the Melissa and Doug um, ice cream set and I just really hope she loves it because Renalia loves that so much whenever she's gone to other people's houses and she had the great little trading company one but it went out in the garden and it's completely got destroyed so I need to find her another one um I'm not going to buy another one I'm going to get one on Facebook marketplace I'm going to try anyway but people love those sets those sets last and I really hope that she's going to love it because I feel like it's a toy that you just you can always play with when we went to Kate's house her daughter had it and Renalia was playing with it so much but anyway Renalia, as much as she has not been sleeping, was an angel the whole weekend. So was Oriavella, but Oriavella does sleep. I've got such knotty hair at the moment. I need to wash it, but I'm not washing it because I've got the Tough Mudder on Saturday, which is a whole other story for after this conversation. But basically, are you, are you seeing too much hype there? Should I sit you down here? Is that a bit better? Got to the Airbnb, perfect location, close to so many things. I couldn't park there because we took my dad's car because never get an electric car. We have about 145 miles and then you have to sit somewhere in charge for an hour and a half or two hours it's so expensive like for 100 miles at these fast charge places we get like if it's 55 pounds sometimes 55 pound for 100 miles so we took my dad's car because it's amazing plus our car as much as it's a five-seater it's not a five-seater like i sit in the back with them so that i can keep them awake and they're both facing back now 
um, and I can speak to them both and entertain them. Aurea Vela, if she goes for her sleep, I can make sure. Anyway, in our car with the two isofixes, that middle seat is not a middle seat, it's half a seat, and it's so uncomfortable. But my dad, it's like a full seat, so it helps so much. Plus, you've got like travel cots to pack, prams, um, toys, it's obscene. But I now don't really take that many toys. I take like two new toys for four days for the girls, something cheap, you know, even if it's like a new toy that they've never had from Facebook Marketplace or Vintage. But most of the towns we go to always have a charity shop, so then I go to the charity shop with them and choose them a toy. It might be like a 99p back of cars or something, but that way they have new toys in the Airbnb and then they don't have to pack them. No one cares about my top tips, but anyway. Um, so we get there. Um, I've never ever in my life seen a dirtier Airbnb in my life. In my life. Like, mess, we're all messy, like look at how we live, whatever. But the, the dust, we couldn't put the girls on the floor. Now admittedly, lots of people aren't sitting on the floor, but I'm gonna insert some clips. There were leftover food wrappers. There was the tea towels, the dirtiest thing I've ever seen in my life. It had like, it clearly hadn't had a wash since the last people stayed, or even it's never had a deep clean. And on the reviews, people were giving them like 4.5, five stars, but still saying how disgustingly dirty the house was. But I think lots of people, I don't know why they were still giving them five stars because no, I get it, I get it, because you don't want five stars back. And also, I'm the first person to give a compliment when something's amazing. I literally am so complimentary to everything, and I hate moaning, I hate complaining. I feel guilty even complaining about this. I feel guilty even calling Airbnb because I was like, this is, someone, this is some person's livelihood. So that's why we spoke to her first. Um, we didn't go to Airbnb straight away, we spoke to her because we had her number. And before all of this, she was so helpful. She was, she told us so many things and the house could be amazing. But the dirt, like I haven't, I didn't get videos of the shower screen. The shower screen was absolutely filthy. Not like smears, marks, no, it was filthy. Um, there was no toilet roll left. There was skids all in the toilet seats, all in the toilets, skids everywhere. Um, in all toy, all of the toilets, and there were two toilets. Um, there were pubic hairs everywhere, everywhere, all over the bed, linen. Um, oh, the tea towel had stains after stains. The mop, the mop, the mop. So Spencer ended up spending like a couple of hours cleaning um, the place. I took, I took the girls out and he ended up cleaning for the, for the, for the place. And um, so we messaged the lady and was like, look, we don't want to take this to Airbnb, but, um, you know, it's, it's, is there anything you could do? Because maybe before that they could have, um, I don't know, got a clean around. What do you think? What do you think? Loads of people are probably going to give me hate for this, but I'm just saying it. Listen, the house was so dust mites. It had dust mites. Like I was itching. I had little marks on my body. Anyway, after cleaning, it was a lot better, but still the dust was sitting in every crevice. You couldn't get there. And it was really nice. It was a really nice place though. And that's what was really upsetting. Anyway, so we messaged the lady and was like, um, really nice. We're like, we just don't want to take this Airbnb. Like this could be just, a confusion I don't think it was clean before we came um we found fresh linen like we'll put the fresh linen on and stuff she was like okay well I'll just re refund you the cleaning fee then um and the cleaning fee was like 40 pounds 45 pounds or something um and it wasn't a cheap Airbnb and it was the guest favorite I don't think they do super host anymore but it was the guest favorite so I was thinking like you know amazing and Spencer always books the Airbnb B and B's and they're always amazing and yeah I was sad but then she got a bit funny about it and she was like um, I think you should just vacate the property. But the problem was we couldn't vacate the property because there was nowhere else with two bedrooms minimum and a travel cot in the area, nothing, absolutely nothing. So we spoke to Airbnb in the end because she said, you need to go to Airbnb. So we spoke to Airbnb and they were like, um, we sent, they had, you have to send videos. They were like, I would never stay in that personally. Um, can we send you somewhere else? And we were like, yeah, that's fine but moving two babies and two travel cots, um, what else? Uh, one travel cot, um, all of the stuff we'd unpacked, you know, our suitcases, our stuff. We were up there for four days, four nights, five days, three nights, four days. Um, we had presents for people. We were going to do different parties. Um, we went to an Easter egg hunt, went to uh, Ocean's party, just lots of different things. Um, we'd unpacked all the food and stuff in the fridge after Spencer cleaned the fridge. There was still like food in there. Anyway, um, but we couldn't move, we couldn't leave. And also Airbnb were like, you need to find somewhere else. But we were like, 
we're not in our hometown. They were like, we'll give you the money if you leave. Like, we will give you a refund if you leave. We'll give you the refund of the days that you aren't spending there. But we didn't have anywhere else to go. We couldn't book into a hotel because hotels are way more expensive than Airbnbs when you have multiple rooms for the two babies. And they both can't sleep in our room. Um, Renania, definitely not. She was up all night, every single night. Um, but anyway, anyway, it was a lovely time. We made the most of it. It was brilliant. We got stuff from the shops. We did it big deep clean we got stuff for the girls to sit on and stuff and yeah it just is sad because it would be so nice and people were writing like there were dust mites visible um but other than that the place was amazing um our towels were dirty and uh, disgusting but other than that the place was amazing and I'm like I wish they'd been more honest about the cleanliness not in just their reviews because we should have read their reviews properly but we were just looking at like the stars but it was like 4.7 stars for cleanliness but people were literally slagging the cleaning off in the reviews and we didn't that was our fault that's our fault it's our fault we didn't read the reviews um yeah we didn't read the reviews but when you see someone that gets so many stars or like a specific number you know if someone said to me 4.7 out of cleaning i'm like brilliant but then if they say 4.7 out of cleaning and then tell me the figure i'm like tell me the actual um review i'm like wow but anyway there you go I just wanted to tell you but it was a lovely 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 time i didn't really want to film because i felt i i honestly was i did i couldn't stop it <laughs> I couldn't stop itching and I didn't feel I didn't feel very comfortable I felt like that was a I, I love going different places I love going to different Airbnbs but this one I just couldn't I'm not a specific way of cleaning you guys know that I'm not the person that does most of the cleaning um I tidy I don't clean but well I clean if I need to but you know and you're like it just made me feel so gross, so gross. Maria Bella is asleep and we are on our way to London. Renelia has gone to nursery, dad took her. Um, she goes to nursery three days a week, by the way. She started that when, she started three days a week. She actually went to nursery quite, not late, not late, there is no such timing on it, is there? Yeah. But she didn't go to nursery as soon as we thought she would because she was really unwell when she was 13 months and was in the hospital and then had steroids and all those things, so we were advised against it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short. She has three days a week now. She started that when baby sister was born, so seven months ago. Um, she went up to three days a week. Um, she doesn't do a full, full day sometimes, does she? Like, we picked her up yesterday at five and Spencer was like, all the parents are here at five. And I was like, yeah, because they all, they all have a work that they come out, but we get there so much earlier because we're like, you know, we don't want to leave her until the end, but 5.30 is when they finish. Um, but yesterday we had to because we dropped her off later and we had a longer day of work. Um, but I think it's that hard thing when you're at home where you're like, I should go early. Yeah. Like, I should pick her up at three o'clock or we'll drop her in at 10.30. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a, anyway, we are on our way to London to the Tongue Tai Center with Carmel, our beautiful um, Carmel Gentle, Gentle Births and Beyond she used to be, but she's now the Tongue Tai Center. She is supporting us through Aurea Vela's tongue tension journey. And yes, I will take you along with me. Um, I won't probably film it when it's happening because she gets really distressed, doesn't she? Yeah. And it's not nice, but I will talk to you all about it. She's not in pain. She's, she's not in pain. She's just, it's just, she it's a muscle that needs to be rubbed out. It's like having like a, it's like having a bit of a massage, which yeah. it feels uncomfortable probably. Um, <clears throat> but we are worrying about it lately. Not worrying about it in any terms of developmentally or um, food wise, but she literally cannot get her tongue out of her mouth. Like if she coughs, she'll go. <coughs> like it's like it's being pulled down. She doesn't have a tie, but she does have a lot of tension. Now Renelia had a tie, got it cut six weeks. That was a journey. This is a journey, but it's a different journey. Um, like it never ever comes out ever it'll go to like there but it won't go like that so we're going to see what Carmel says today I'm pretty sure she's going to have a big old um, body work session with her only stretch last her out, stretch her out and then we'll be left with some more exercise that we're going to have to do yeah. it's just really really traumatic because the exercises she really doesn't like um but it just, it, do, it helps her. And it's so hard because it's like that catch 22 of like, you don't want your child to be in any sort of pain for even two minutes, but also you know that it's gonna benefit her so much in the long run. 
with everything. The tongue is like one of the biggest muscles in the body. Isn't it the biggest muscle in the body? Yeah, it's harder when she gets teeth as well. It's doing the exercise. Yeah, when she gets teeth, yeah. yeah it's because Spencer does the exercises because I physically can't and then I'm there as soon as she starts sort of getting upset then she latches straight on and she's fine but you can see how much sort of well I'll take the fours and afters and we can see but I was pumping this morning because we are doing the tough mudder tough mudder this weekend I don't know if I can leave it here while we're driving so I think it might might be easier if I could Yes, Spence is very, very, very excited. So we're doing the Tough Manor this weekend. I'm very apprehensive. I've only done two runs in preparation. Spencer loves running. He loves long distance. I, on the other hand... Well, I haven't done much running either, to be fair. But you're very, you're very good at running. He's very good at running. I see what you mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not good at running. Now listen, we're all, we've all got different strengths, we've all got different talents. I'm just not the best runner, and that's fine. Well, that is actually fine. Your way around. Yeah, maybe I could dance my way around. Well, when we went on a run the other day, this is my second run we've been on. When we went on a run, run the other day, I saw you sort of look at me, but I was like galloping. Did you see that at one point? I was well, doing like ball changes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That doesn't, that I could do for 17 hours, I swear. Yeah. Do you not think that's weird? Yeah, no, I just But it's like the pressure of running yeah. that I feel like I can ball change. Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, I just. What do you think that's to do with? Well, it's just, uh, it's so strange. It's so strange. But I could literally like ball change. So if you see, I'm going to be um, videoing the whole of the Tough Mudder because you're going to be having your body cam. Yeah, body cam. Like, well, shouldn't we wear on our head? No, nah, it's all good. No, it's here be fine. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How wide angle is it? Well, we'll test it tonight. Test it tonight, yeah, test it tonight. So then we can see what proximity I'm around you. Yeah. Well, so yeah. we can film it. You're not going to be like, you'll be stupid. But then you're not going to be filmed at all. We can take it off, swap around. Yeah. Yeah, we should. should right. Yeah. We should have got two. No, no, no. And then I could have worn one on my head, and you could have worn one on your body. I think on the head would be a bit of a nightmare, because you've got to get through stuff. Is it not going to get covered in mud? Like it's in a case. Yeah, but then the case will get dirty, you just wipe the case. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Because if you see what I'm saying, you're on the floor yeah. in the mud, uh -huh. it's going to be covered. Anyway, I'm very apprehensive about it. I'm excited because me and Spencer obviously we don't drink, we don't go out, so we don't have, we don't do much that's just something that, and we love doing things together, so it's like, we love yeah, doing escape day. rooms, it's a date day, it's yeah. Like, for me, I reckon it's going to be like a giant adult obstacle course. Well, it is, yeah. Oh, yeah. But Spencer says it's like a, I can't, I don't really want to know. I would rather not know, because then I won't sleep. I'd rather just go into it kind of blindsided, like yeah. a bit, because then it's like, when you first give birth and you're like, I don't know what's coming. So I kind of actually just don't know what's coming. I know that you run a bit and then you do an assault course and then you run. I know I'm going to get absolutely filthy. I know I'm going to be freezing and that's my biggest concern, the freezing nature. We bought a GoPro, but it's not a GoPro. It's one of the... It's not high rated on Amazon. Yeah. Is it actually waterproof? And Paso. Is it waterproof? Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So we're doing that. Don't know how much footage we're going to get, but we're going to leave our phones in the car and stuff. But yes, wish me luck because I'm not the fittest. I'm very good at short distance. Long distance don't start to me. And physically fit wise, I, I'm not, I don't go to the gym. Like I'm not physically fit. So I don't know what on earth it's going to entail, but I know it's a bonding thing because you are going to be amazing. He's going to be like, you're amazing Mills. I know you will. Uh, people would see on the camera, wouldn't they? Yeah. Because you are so like supportive and I feel like it bond it makes us yeah, when we do things together, don't you think it's just so nice? Yeah. Because when we do things together, we do like go to coffees and brunches. I um, feel like gonna love it. Really? Yeah. This is your idea. And you're more athletic than you make out as well. Oh I'm athletic. Yeah. I'm athletic, yes. I was athletic when I was younger. Right, so I'm now 31, baby prince. You've got this in the bag. I am athletic, yeah. I was in all the sports teams. Yeah, exactly. And I ran and you like for Brighton sport, and Hove, yeah. You like sport? Yeah, oh, I love sport. Yeah. Yeah, I love sport. I am athletic. Yeah. I just don't run long distance. No. I'm going to be amazing, though. Listen, these two girls make me know how, like, they, they're my constant reminder that I can do anything. Yesterday, when I went in the water with Dad, I think he was so shocked that I was, like, breathing through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like just going for it but I find it actually harder when you're in the cold water to move dad was swimming and I find that harder 
But there's this 81-year-old woman in there yesterday, Spence. Not in the sauna. She said, oh, no, I don't like saunas. I've got um, sinus problems, so I prefer if it was a steam room. And I was like, you're amazing. She was like, I'm 81. Like, it gets me, it makes me feel so liberated. And I was like, dad was like, it's all the alcohol and smoking, like, that you've done that's kept you young or something. He was joking. And she was like, no, I don't do any of that. And I was like, that's what, that's why you're laughing, princess. And she was in there with her woolly hat on. She had a woolly hat. She had these gloves and shoes, but she just had a swim costume. And she swims round the, you know, the um, yeah. peak, whatever it is. She swims round and comes back. And she's like, when I start not enjoying it, after, you know, a couple of minutes, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, sometimes I do half an hour. What? What? She's amazing. Anyway, I will see you in London. That's what I will do in this place called House of Balam, Heart of Balam, and I just got this and it looks unbelievable. This is banana, cacao, cashew nut, peanut butter, spinach, oh my god, avocado. Oh my god, Spencer. Another one, Aurea is very hungry. She has just fed off me, but we're getting happy now. Oh my god, that's the best holiday sauce I've ever had in my life. Sorry, I'm chewing. That's a hollandaise turmeric sauce. I've got asparagus, sourdough, smoked salmon. Are they nice, Ben? And then we've got French toast to save, to share. She's got some avocado on toast. Oh my God, this is so unreal. We haven't got much battery. We're just driving home now. We had the nicest brunch. That was unbelievable, wasn't it? So good. Oh my God, it was so good. Carmel was incredible. I will insert clips now and then come back to you. Of course. She likes an empty water bottle as well. I like these things. These are cute. Yeah, they are. Very aesthetic as well. Look at your tongue. Yeah. You're so amazing. Since you're seeing it. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm fully crying. <laughs> she does feel tense. Yeah, like she's gripping on, isn't she? Mm. Mm. It's a bit, little bit more neutral, so she'll let me work her arm out. That's if you see how her shoulders drop. Mm. It feels like it's too small to hold, but yeah. when I hold it, it's just to hold it really on there. Works the like on the outside of it, really. Yeah. Off the tongue. It's so hard. Oh, drown them out and like. You can't. And with those times, you just get through. Yeah. Look, Spence. I get more excited by next than times. Really? Just, really? Like, it just pulls. Yeah. Through. Oh, wow. Look at that neck space. I wouldn't be surprised if she started bab babbling. Yeah. All the way up, 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 up high. Oh, nice big stretch. Yeah. Happy yeah. 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 Oriavella, I cried because she got her tongue out. Like, she's never got her tongue out. Has she, Spence? She actually, it was like, and like making different sounds and the neck space she has. And when she, when Carmel gets her to latch, I don't know what she does. No lactation consultant can touch her for me. She is like, it doesn't even feel like Oriavella's feeding. It doesn't even feel like my nipple's being used in any way, shape or form. She just has this, She's just so amazing. As Carmel did say, as much as she's done all of that now, if we go home and don't do the exercises on Oriavella and do what we need to do, then it would be pointless. She would have gone through all that for nothing. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we have to maintain that. Oh, so, it's muscle memory, isn't it? Like, yeah. You don't if you don't leave the muscle alone, it's just gonna yeah. go back to the habits that you're doing. So. Exactly. And the way she feeds sometimes, it's she unfortunately will shallow latch and then the tongue doesn't have to get up and then it's easier for her. She wants to shallow latch, she does. Yeah. She wants to shallow latch because it's easier for them, but actually longevity wise and for her own 
palate, her tongue, her neck, her tension, her whole thing. It, I can't explain to you how important it is to focus on the tongue and the body work and things like that because it doesn't just affect the way they speak, the way they eat, it's not that, it's so much more. It's sleeping as they get older, it's posture, it's problems with their neck and their shoulders and their calves and so many things. It's so important, I can't express it highly enough. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about it but love her again, feel like we've got a new baby. She's so much longer, she seems so much happier. So yes, here's doing the exercises at home and I will keep you on this journey of Oriavella. And I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I have another vlog coming up next Saturday. I feel as though lots of people aren't really liking the videos where I sit in the car and do like a big talk. So if I have topics to talk about, I will integrate them within vlogs. I have things I'm doing in the world, so I feel like it's nice to just share that with you, whether this was a boring vlog or not. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna leave you. Bye.